loves trains. And Simon trains. And today we're walking the Disused Railway Line from Falls Head in Wigan to Whitebur in Adlington along the former Lancashire Union Railway Line. Indeed. The Lancashire Union Railway Line ran between Blackburn and St Helens and I've got to say how handy would it be if this line was in service today because I could go directly from the Wigan to Chorley. Did you just look at my arse? No. Hey up, who's this? Hey up. Hiya. Did you ever think you'd see the day that G Loves Trains was on a buzz? But I have actually started liking them, I'll admit. We're on the 362 service, we're going to get off at Paws Head. And I did even look at the number on this, 2690. I actually would love to go bus fossing one day. <laughs> Immediately getting off the bus, it's very windy and it's very loud with this main road but we are currently on a bridge that crosses over the west coast main line and down there is the location of the first issues railway station of, and you might be able to guess the name of this from the pub across the road, Boar's Head and also down there is where the west coast main line used to branch off onto the line that we are walking along today. Boar's Head Station used to have four platforms, right? Yeah. Now I can't really see over here, but Cyber can. What's down there? Nothing. And Cyber is currently just checking. Which came first, the pub or the station? Does it say? along the main road because there's no track bed and it is absolutely boiling I've got like a thousand layers on as well we've joined the track bed and are at Red Rock station it used to have two platforms which were staggered and on one of the platforms was a station building that's now been incorporated into a house the next train to depart from Red Rock Station is the post van. No reason to be satisfied. So Red Rock Station opened on the 1st of December 1869. The station closed on the 26th of September 1949. It closed the freight on the 2nd of September 1959. I have been wanting to walk this line for quite some time now I have done little segments of it before and I'll tell you now it's always been super muddy I can hear a train so hopefully it's not too bad today but it probably is gonna worsen up and also there are some stunning bridges along here we are just coming up to an aqueduct and this is what I refer to as the leaking bridge and uh, we have just checked and it is dripping with water so we're going to have to walk beneath that but up there is the Leeds Liverpool Canal. I dare you to go through that. So we may have left our clones along the Middlewood Way but they finally caught up! Let's catch the buggers! Carol, you got a bogey up your nose? Yes, get it out! No. Get out of I think we've lost them, Cyber. Yeah. Phew! I'll tell you what, this walking route is really quiet compared to usual. There's hardly anybody down it at all. This time you see me, I won't be the same. Squishy boobies! Squishy boobies! Cyber's happy because apparently we're in Aberdeen. I didn't think we'd been walking for that long. No, we're not in Aberdeen, Scotland. We're at Aberdeen Cottages. I know I like my own brew, but that's um, totally ridiculous if we're in Aberdeen. 
and there is a railway mile post, a big yellow thing over there. Put a number two on it. Yeah, sorry about that guys. Um, there's no toilets around here. Yes, please. Not a ginger knot. Oh, I'll take a ginger knot, but I'll something else. The Leeds Liverpool Canal has come into sight, which means that we are nearing the end. It feels like we're in a storm. Apparently, it's not a storm, it's just really high wind. Not even the railway line unfortunately for the day that's time because everything has been built on I'm afraid. Down there is Lancashire, over there is Greater Manchester. Seriously, what is the bit in the middle called? No man's land, that's what it's called. This is quite funny but in day 47 of exploring the North West by train at my last station, Adlington, I actually was here as in I was walking along here filming here and I had no idea that White Burr Station is right here. White Burr had two platforms, one of which is just about visible down there and there's also a building which was on the trolley van platform. And it closed the passengers on the 4th of January 1916. There is a B&B &B over the road called White Burr, but which came first, the B&B? Or the station, let's not start that again. We've made it to the end of the line. We're currently on a footbridge which is overlooking Adlington Junction, which is where the line we've just walked along meets up with the Manchester to Preston via trolley line. and it does feel nostalgic for me to be back here. It's been a very windy walk and I'll tell you what, I'm surprised that I've not had to wear my gloves because it is winter. Have you enjoyed yourself, Cyber? I have enjoyed it, DG. Thank you very much for coming along. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye, bye. What time's the train? There's no train, it's buses. Bye. The Bulls Head Station, it used to have put <laughs> And it used to have four platforms, right? Hi to you. So the station opened on the 1st of December. <laughs> Willy Windy. Willy Windy? Did I say Willy Windy? <laughs>